Watch most cable or network news shows, and the message is clear President Donald Trump is unpopular, especially compared to the dozens of fresh faces attempting to challenge him for the White House in 2020. Some of the faces are not so fresh as three of the leading contenders Biden, Sanders, and Warren are septuagenarians. Despite the exonerating Mueller report, Trump is still on the ropes, about to be impeached, a Russian agent, and so on. Trump is also a Nazi, racist, homophobe, Islamophobe, and sexist pig. Nobody likes him. At least that's what CNN says. If this was truly the case, Trump should be polling in the low 30s at best, with most of the country giving him and his administration a thumbs down on performance and results. Yet reality is far different. In the media bubble, where journalists all live in the same neighborhoods, kids attend the same schools, all go to the same parties, and belong to the same tennis and fitness clubs, there are no MAGA hats to be seen. Outside the bubble, the picture is far different, even if the smart set at MSNBC and the New York Times choose not to see it. What do opinion polls say? Rasmussen has the well-deserved reputation as the most accurate pollster, based on being the closest of all major polling organization in predicting the results of the 2016 presidential election. In their daily presidential tracking poll, as of Friday, April 5th, President Trump had a 51% total approval number. Most of this calendar year, despite the constant drumbeat of Russian collusion, his approval number has been in the mid to high 40s, ranging from a low of 43% to a high of 52% since January 1. For comparison, President Obama, exactly eight years ago on April 5, 2011, was at 47% approval with numbers ranging from the mid to high 40s, occasionally hitting 50 percent, much the same as President Trump. At first glance, one might say both presidents were equally popular at the same points of their respective presidencies. And both went on to be re-elected for a second term. Fair enough but there is more. What shapes public opinion in significant part? The media. What has the media's role been in influencing opinion during the Obama versus Trump presidencies? Media coverage of President Trump has been almost exclusively negative. Newsbusters reported 90% negative coverage of Trump during 2018, matching similarly negative coverage in 2017. But without effect, as they note, 